What is love? We've all asked ourselves this question. The truth is that love has different meanings for different people. But still, we, as humans, are constantly searching for a universal answer to this complicated question. We will look for the answers in Albert Einstein's understanding of love. Maybe, one of the brightest minds mankind has ever known, has a message for us. In a letter to his daughter, he reveals his theory of the universal force of love. There is an extremely powerful force that, so far science has not found a formal explanation to. It is a force that includes and governs all others, and is even behind any phenomenon operating in the universe, and has not yet been identified by us. This universal force is love. Love is light, that enlightens those who give and receive it. Love is gravity, because it makes some people feel attracted to others. Love is power, because it multiplies the best we have, and allows humanity not to be extinguished in their blind selfishness. Love unfolds and reveals. For love, we live and die. Love is God, and God is love. This force explains everything, and gives meaning to life. This is the variable, that we have ignored for too long, maybe because we are afraid of love, because it is the only energy in the universe, that man has not learned to drive at will. This is how Albert Einstein defines the universal force of love, and we can learn, so much from his words. Love is complicated, and physics is also. Probably the two most complicated subjects on the planet. You can find parallels in these, like attraction, orbit, charged particles, and so many others. But as always, Einstein makes complex things look as simple as possible, like this another quote from him. You can't blame gravity for falling in love. But love is like gravity. You can't see it, you can't smell it, or even touch it, but it surrounds you all the time. And you feel that force of attraction, that is so strong, that you keep falling and falling. Love has no boundaries. Neither does gravity. They work hand in hand. So, that's why Einstein's quote is probably one of the most beautiful quotes to express this feeling. It's a word with four characters in it, but has deep meaning and expression behind it. It's probably the single most important feeling you are blessed to receive, and have the ability to share. And, if you're lucky, it can be a lifelong set of experiences that gives meaning to the life that we live. Like gravity is a natural force of attraction, true love is also natural, and a powerful force of attraction between two hearts. Love has so much common with natural forces. We may want to, but we cannot command, demand, or take away love, any more than we can command the moon, and the stars and the wind and the rain, to come and go according to our whims. Love is bigger than us. You can invite love, but you cannot dictate how, when, and where love expresses itself. You can choose to surrender to love or not, but in the end, love strikes like lightning, unpredictable and irrefutable. You can even find yourself loving people you don't like at all. Love does not come with conditions, it is totally unconditional. Like the sun, love radiates independently of our fears and desires. Love is inherently free. It cannot be bought, sold, or traded. You cannot make someone love you, nor can you prevent it. Love cannot be imprisoned, nor isolated. Love has no territory, no borders, no nationality, or religion. Love is love. It's absolute, ultimate freedom. You can't blame two hearts for why they fell in love, and, for sure, you can't blame gravity for falling in love. Understanding love is important, but more important is experiencing love. So, let's have as much love as we can, as much as you can. Love. Live. Be human.